Anytime. Hey, I am going to try and tell you about fiberglass brushes and how to prepare them for use. Most people find that a, a fiberglass brush, as handy as it may be, is also very difficult to use because of the fact that the little bristles break off and they get stuck in your fingers and they're a real nuisance and painful. So I wanted to give you guys a fix for that, that, that um, you will think of me every time you use your glass brush from now on. Here's my glass brush that I've been using for 40 years. It started out about this long. And um, my good friend John at the time came up with a fix for this glass brush so that it would quit uh, breaking and shedding fiberglass bristles. What he did was he wrapped the, the uh, brush with string but tied a knot after each revolution. So I just want to show you how to do that. It's very simple and then your fiberglass brush will <laughs> be useful for thousands of pieces and you'll never get a little sliver in your fingers again. So, when you buy our fiberglass brushes at Enamel Art Supply, they look like this. They, they're wrapped in string, but they have no uh, knots tied in them. And so, as a result, they, they get loose and, um, and the little fiberglass bristles break off, and you'll wear out a glass brush like this in, in a couple of years if you can stand to use it, because they're, they're so awful to use when the fiberglass is breaking off. So um, when we're done today, the, this brush is going to look more like this. As you can see, there's a knot tied on every revolution all the way around this um, brush. And, um, and so as you wear the brush out, you just take off one, one revolution of the string and cut it, and then you've got some fresh fiberglass to be using to scrub up your pieces. So um, you probably have seen these fiberglass brushes. I've had one of these for a long time, and they'd be great, except that they, the plastic that they embed this in isn't tight enough around the fiberglass to hold the bristles from um, being too flexible. And so there's a lot of movement in them, and that movement is what creates the breakage on these little bristles. So anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about these. These are better than a lot of the brushes that are out there, but my brush of choice is this. So, okay, let's get going. Important thing that I'm going to probably tell you today is that you have to wear rubber gloves while you're doing this because you don't want to get all those little fibers into your fingers. It's very important. I'm also working on top of a piece of paper towel so that when I'm done working here I can just gather this all up and put it in the garbage and try and, and keep these little fibers off of myself. I'm also wearing an apron. So, okay, so here's your fiberglass brush that just arrived in the mail from an Enamel Art Supply. And I'm going to have to um, take off a few revolutions of the string that's on it in order to get going with the new string. And uh, you'll find as you unwind this that there is paper there's a paper coating on the outside of this fiberglass. And I would go ahead and leave that on there instead of taking it off. Now you're only gonna un unwrap it a little ways before you start putting your new wrapping on there. For your new wrapping, I had my husband get this out of the garage because it's a, a polyester string instead of a cotton string which will hold up better, the, the polyester will hold up better than the cotton um, wet, when it's wet over prolonged periods like it will be when you're using it to scrub your enamel pieces. So I'm going to start this out by uh, um, wrapping this around the end of my fiberglass brush. And I'm going to tie a knot in this as tight as I can get it. It's going to be a square knot because you want this to stay on here. All right. So now the fun begins. You're going to 
wrap this string around here. I'm going to try not to make this look any more difficult than it is. It's a little hard to get going, but once you get going, it should be pretty easy. So every time you wrap it around, you're going to um, slide the other end in there. Now, I could make this look a little easier if I took off these rubber gloves, but don't be tempted to do that. Okay. So... <laughs> I can do this. Okay, you notice that I'm pulling this pretty tight, and you also notice that this little loose end of string that, uh, that I had when I tied this off to begin with, I've left inside so that... Um, It'll, it won't be just a loose end flapping around. I can, I can capture it like that. Okay, so I'm going to move this back a little bit and then go ahead and bring this around, bring this through. I promise you, you'll get better at this really fast, and so will I. Okay, and then there. So I'm going to bring it around, bring it through. Um, you know, I was, I was threading this through every single time. So as I got down to this end, I, I figured out that I could just do that. <laughs> How cool is that, eh? So now I should be able to finish this off pretty quickly. And I, I think I just made this into a really simple job for you. I'm going to go ahead and take off the rest of this string here so that I can get it out of my way so I can finish this off. Okay. Well, let's, let's leave this little end tied here for until I get down that far. Okay. Oh my good goodness, how easy is that? Duh. I'm, a, I'm like 40 years out of practice. I only needed to do this once 40 years ago, and that was it. So, um, <laughs> I feel pretty happy about figuring out this last little trick. so easy now. And look how good that looks. It's just like, oh, really solid. All right, now I'm going to try and figure out a smart way to tie this off. Okay, I just pulled that really tight. I can't think of a better way to have that. I'm going to go one more time around here. But just to make it shorter. I think that's all we need to do. I'm going to leave this a little bit long just in case I come up with a good, a different way to tie this off in the beginning, but I'm almost positive that's how I did this to begin with. So there you have it. Okay, so the, the deal is here, when you 
when you are using these brushes, they get shorter and shorter as you're working on them. You can see here that my, my bristle is uh, pretty, pretty tight and short. And so I, it's ready for me to remove one more go round of this string, um, which I would do by just pulling it off of the end here and then cutting it at this place. And, um, and now this will get me through another 20 pieces, I betcha. So, okay, there you have it. This nasty old thing, it's one of my favorite tools. So I know this took a little while, but um, the, you only have to do this once. And then you'll have a really safe glass brush to use for the rest of your career and probably your grandchildren too. So um, have fun.